Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we are back with some more underquest and in this game there are some secret trophies you can get that are scattered on the map they're kind of hard to find and today I'm going to show you how you can get all three of them but yeah no time for intros or anything like that we're gonna get straight into this I had something in my eye ow anyways the first achievement you can get is the first boss of the beta ah uh, yes the first boss the first boss is called ruined guardian basically while you're walking through the ruins navigating the ruins you eventually want to walk over here and after this freaking mold small but yeah once you take this corner path right here you go up here the boss fed will be somewhere right here in these panels but yeah you go up here flowey i think will appear here and uh, yeah that's the end of the beta so far and that's one of the achievements that is the first trophy on to the next one. Oh, also there's like a little secret right here i'm not going to continue down here because you guys can go find it yourselves Alrighty, the next achievement is actually relatively close here after you beat the beta a new character will be unlockable which has a 10 percent chance to spawn from any normal encounter you can have a chance to find toriel which is a semi boss i would say because you have to kill her once and then you get her kill slash spare works and once you get her you can burn a wall that should be here and the walls that are around the ruins yeah there's like a little wall there and they burn it down and go down here and you're gonna see this white block you walk down here and you are in the glitched world or should i say anti-ruins this place is extremely terrifying because the enemies here are extremely strong and way over too over leveled they do a lot of damage so without a proper team it's not worth coming here you might be thinking the question hey but they're over leveled don't you get a lot of xp let me show you real quick Ah uh, yes, so much XP. Ah, uh, I'm so glad I killed those things. Once you go down here, it'll look like, oh hey, there's a chest there. I'll go get that chest. And on this tile specifically, there is a boss encounter called the Anti Ruin Glitched Guardians or something. It's the Glitched Guardian, but Anti. It's super strong. You need like level 15 things. Well, well, depends on what strategy you're using and how you're beating them in general. This is the setup I used because there's a flow. Okay, there is a flowy DLC game pass thing, wet, but I tried to beat the game without flowy, and this is the setup I ended up using. Mega Osper, Butterfly Swarm, Slash Dance, whatever you want. Just to set up. Vegetoid, or that's Mega Osp. And then Vegetoid, Carrots, your next hit. The next hit, bleh. The next hit your opponent takes deals two times damage. So then they have Frisk. You want to use Act here unless you have an over leveled Frisk. And then you have Toriel, which just, I used Flame Barrage, and that's how I killed him. It's, it was fairly simple, but it took a lot of planning. But once you have all of that, you can take him on, and if you win, you go to this extremely good chest. Ah, uh, yes, that was worth two hours grinding. No, but seriously, that, killing the anti glitch Guardian gives you a badge. It gives you the same texture as the first badge, but silvery. The first one's golden, this one's silvery. If you get the silver one, then yeah, that means you beat this one, boss in general. And then a little Easter egg, if you go down this wall right here, you can see this kind of lines right here. You head down here, and then you'll be in the void area, and you'll see another glitch cube. You walk into that, and bam, you're at a new shop. It's actually an entirely new wheel area. You can unlock all of these skins, the rarest ones Toriel. This took me so long to get, but Toriel, you can get you can get Toriel from the shop. It's pretty cool. It's pretty worth it, I'd say. And yeah, that's all this area. And lastly, the last badge you can get in this game, not many people knew about, slash I think still know about. But the way you get this badge is or at least in previous updates, whenever someone got frisk to mat to like 19, it would change to a attacking frisk, like level 19 first can actual undertale there were problems with that so they raised the cap to level 100 but if you hit level 20 you will get the knife badge it's a golden badge on the main screen it's not oh, also none of these are actual badges or trophies that appear next to your profile and uh, yeah you get once you get this to 19 it takes longer to upgrade by the way but once you get this to 19 uh you get a badge for it and that's the tr that's the last trophy in the game very worth it i would recommend farming for that because Snowden might be soon, and Snowden's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, that's it for the video. That's all the badges so far. But what if there is another secret? But what if there is another secret? But what if there is another secret? 
Well, what if, what, what if, what if there's another secret? What? 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 If, what, what is this? I was close. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new to the channel and you want updates on UnderQuest about the game itself and then act like videos on it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we love the support. We love funny comments. And uh, yeah, we love reading your comments and suggestions too. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Pickle!